Good evening. I'm Jeff Vaughn. And I'm Andrea Fujii. Do you understand that there are things that we're three days into this investigation? Three days into this investigation. Now at 10, tensions boiled over tonight at a sheriff's meeting to discuss the shooting death of a 16-year-old. Anthony Weber was shot and killed by L.A. County Sheriff's deputies during a foot chase Sunday night. KCAL 9's Tom Waite is live at the Hall of Justice to show us why things got so heated there, Tom. And Andrea, as you can see in that little bit of video, it was a very intense meeting. The family of this 16-year-old says the bottom line is this shooting was not justified, but the sheriff's department is trying to plead their case. You to do. Tempers flare as chaos overwhelms an emergency meeting of the sheriff's civilian oversight commission. The panel assembled at a church in South L.A. to discuss the shooting death of 16-year-old Anthony Weber, who was killed by an L.A. County Sheriff's deputy during a foot chase Sunday night. A representative from the Sheriff's Department gave the deputy's version of events. The individual was seen reaching back for the waistband where the deputy last saw the handgun. And when he went to the ground after the shooting occurred, approximately 30 to 40 people came from down within the apartment complex towards the two deputies. Members of Weber's family spoke out in the teen's defense. Y'all killed my brother. What do you think we should get for that? Ain't no money can't replace my brother. I don't believe there is. The shooting unfolded Sunday night at an apartment complex near the intersection of 107th and Budlong. Deputies were called to the area because of a report of a man with a gun. Deputies arrived on scene. They found Weber, who they say matched the description of the gunman. When they confronted him, they claim Weber ran and turned toward them, and deputies say he had a gun. A deputy opened fire, killing Weber. No weapon was found on Weber. Sheriff's investigators say someone in the crowd that gathered after the shooting took the gun from the scene. A claim rejected by those gathered here tonight. At, at the end of the day, this is a very complex investigation, and the investigation is not going to. All right. All right. So. And the deputies involved in this shooting are on paid leave, which is routine during an investigation like this one. Reporting live from the Hall of Justice, I'm Tom Waite. Back to you in the studio. Okay, Tom, thank you.